Hello everyone. It's a great honor to be able to join and share in the Eco East Africa Symposium 2021. My name is Janet Maro. I work with Sustainable Agriculture Tanzania, a local non-governmental organization that is based in Morogoro. And uh, we collaborate with uh, Eco in Arusha uh, on the Dairy God project together with other partners in Tanzania. And uh, today I would like to share with you about SAT and uh, the work we are doing with organic agriculture and how this is transforming the farming system in the country into a more sustainable and a better way of farming. So as I said, SAT is a local non-governmental organization. We started work in 2009 and ever since we've been working uh, as a network and uh, we work with over 20,000 farmers in Morogoro region, almost 3,000 farmers in Dodoma, and recently we started work in Tabora region, whereby we have a project with young girls. And uh, in, all the, in all our projects and initiatives, we focus on sharing knowledge and disseminating knowledge on ecological organic agriculture, so as to transform the food system and as you will see later in the next slides, to make agriculture uh, more sustainable and to contribute to uh, increased food security, nutrition, a reduction of poverty, but uh, improving livelihoods of the communities and bringing about economic development. Um, so our vision as an organization is that the majority of farmers are using acknowledged agroecological methods to improve their livelihoods, conserve the environment and reduce pressure on natural resources. We have this vision and it fits very well with the work of SAT because uh, we foresee that uh, when farmers practice sustainable methods of farming that are good for the environment, that do not compromise the probability of future generations to be able to have access to food, access to healthy and nutritious food. It is the sure way to go and ensuring that the people in the future are still able to get decent, decent earnings from the land, but also getting the healthy and nutritious food. And this has been our vision for the last about seven years. And uh, we work with multiple partners to realize this vision. And our, uh, the farmers in our network really are committed and dedicated. They're custodians of the earth as they do production of healthy and nutritious food, which as a result, due to the methods that they use, they're conserving the environment. And uh, with reducing pressure on natural resources, with some of the systems that we put in practice, like you see uh, on this picture, some of the systems that we promote and farmers have adopted and are using, like on the picture here, this is a legume tree. And this tree provides multiple benefits. It provides biological nitrogen fixation for the soil. It provides uh, biomass in forms of leaves uh, that can be used for making compost, but also it provides uh, tree branches which can be used as uh, a source of fewer wood for using uh, for, for using in the kitchen. And that reduces uh, having to move long distances to look for firewood. And also we construct energy saving stoves, which farmers use and the energy saving stoves reduce the amount of firewood that is used by up to about a third of what a farmer would normally use for cooking. As the stove has one entryway where you put the firewood and it is uh, quite, quite sustainable and user friendly. And so this is our vision as an organization. And uh, of the vision also we have uh, mission statements whereby our mission statements uh, to, 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 to do capacity building for, for farmers. Also, we do capacity building for net, uh, companies, for networks, also for government extension officers who have not come across ecological organic agriculture. And so we provide the proper knowledge and disseminate the proper knowledge through our different, um, different platforms of knowledge dissemination. And uh, we also 
uh, work on the value chain on marketing as you will see in the next presentations and so in, in the next slides and so we have a vision as well for markets for value addition and uh, for research but this is more elaborated on the pillars of our work and uh, as an organization we have the pillar of dissemination of knowledge and uh, with dissemination of knowledge this incorporates all our knowledge dissemination platforms including uh, the pharma magazine Mkulima Mbonifu that we co-publish with BioVision Foundation and distribute to pharma networks in Tanzania to pharma groups all over the country. The magazine is produced every month and we are happy that uh, also with, with collaboration with ECHO and other partners in Tanzania they provide inputs or content that is used in the magazine and also we distribute to pharma groups all over the country. With the magazine, we are able to reach over 75,000 farmers every month who receive the magazine in their groups. And uh, we use a system whereby the copies that are sent to a group, the group shares the number of copies that are distributed and read amongst themselves and share the, the knowledge. Our other knowledge dissemination platform is the Sad Farmer Training Center, which is based in Morogoro. It is the first center in Tanzania for ecological organic agriculture. And in this center, we train people from all over the country and beyond. Before we had the uh, COVID-19 crisis, we received people from all over the world, from all over the world, from all over the continents. And I remember there was a time we had an audience of people and we had to have translators for Spanish, Portuguese, French, and it, it just showed how, uh, how, how important the center was and how we, we were able to host uh, these different and big diverse type and people of, from different nationalities with different languages coming together, all with a common, uh, common purpose to learn about ecological organic agriculture, to share experiences and knowledge in this field. And at the center, we have accommodation facilities and training facilities, and every year we receive over uh, 1,000 farmers who come and attend the different trainings. We also receive extension officers and field officers from other organizations who come for different trainings. And our other pillar, uh, through the pillar of dissemination as well, we have the outreach activities. And this is through the work we are doing directly in the field by farmers, uh, using farmer groups, using direct training of our facilitators but also using peer-to-peer -peer training through uh, the farmers to farmer approach, also pastoralist to pastoralist approach that we implement at, at SAT. And uh, with the dissemination and outreach uh, directly to farmers, here we have a network and direct outreach of over 20,000 farmers, as I mentioned before. Then with the pillar of application and marketing, here uh, we do mostly the application of ecological organic agriculture practices at the Sad Pharma Training Center in Morogoro, whereby out of the about 600 acres of land that the organization owns, about 70 of acres are cultivated using different uh, agroecological practices. And in these cultivated acres, we grow sunflower, we grow sorghum, we grow uh, hibiscus, and all the crops are intercropped with legumes such as green gram, uh, cowpeas, uh, the common beans, also lab lab, and uh, they are planted in alleys whereby we have trees on the sides that uh, help uh, to do biological nitrogen fixation but also help to improve the uh, soil structure, provide partial, partial shading for some crops that need partial shading to flourish. And I must mention that this farm is located on a dry land and so it's not a very easy place to, to work but uh, so far we have been managing very well with, with uh, the practice and use 
of ecological organic agriculture practices. We do a lot of mulching, which help to uh, preserve the soil moisture and hence uh, reduce the amount of water that we need to use on the farm. We have also uh, constructed swells. We dug swells, which help to tra transport water. We have a reservoir where we collect all the rainwater that drains on the land and use it during the time when it is dry. And these multiple methods help to uh, to to to, to uh, store to to preserve soil soil moisture and also to store water for use in the future. And so we are able to cultivate crops. Uh, during the rainy season, but also to do the horticultural crops during the dry season using the irrigation from the collected water. As the farm only receives less than 500 millimeters of rainfall per annum, hence it is on a dry land, as uh, one would say. And with marketing, here we have the uh, organic shop, which also happens to be the first organic shop in Tanzania. It's, it was opened almost 10 years ago and it has been doing so well that uh, by last year, uh, 2020 September, so it's almost a year later, we have been able to establish the SAT social business, which is the SAT Holistic Group Limited, and it is there to do the business and uh, sell and uh, sell purchase and distribution as well as value addition of uh, organic products from the farmers also farmers are shareholders of this company and we're very proud with this uh, new new opportunity to be able to further uh, do business and ensure decent prices for farmers and reliable markets for their organic products our other pillar is the pillar of research. And uh, with the pillar of research, here we work and collaborate with Sokoine University of Agriculture. And our approach towards research is a farmer-centered approach whereby farmers are the ones who come up with a research problem. They present it for discussion, but also for researchers to be able to do research together with the farmers on the problem and find joint solutions to the problem that was brought about or presented by farmers. So during the, years as, the year, as farmers are doing uh, their normal farming activities, they identify problems that they don't have immediate solutions to. Even after some consultation with some uh, experts or people around in their network, then these problems are brought, are brought forward for research and are presented during the workshop for participatory research design, which uh, there will be an audience of potential researchers listening to the problems that farmers present. And then after the farmers have presented, the researchers put the presented problems into researchable topics and work together to develop concept notes, which later uh, uh, build up research proposals and then they carry out the research and present the findings at a later stage when the research is complete accomplished. In this way we've been able to reach a very big number of, uh, of farmers and be able to work on many different uh, challenges and find uh, solutions that are ecologically sound for problems that farmers face on crop production, on livestock keeping, post-harvest loss and management, but also on food processing and value addition and uh, marketing, as well as issues to do with soil fertility and uh, soil water conservation, and uh, just to mention a few. Our other pillar, uh, through the pillar of research as well, we do research at the Farmer Training Center in Vianzi. We have, uh, we have agro research on agroforestry systems that we have established. It's a long-term research. As you all know, trees take a long time to grow. And so our research is as well long-term. And we are so much uh, looking forward. Every year is very interesting with the performance of the trees, the performance of the crops that are planted in the system. And uh, we look forward to see really how uh, the agroforestry system using Gliricidia sepium and uh, 
crops like maize and sorghum perform in this system uh, with minimum tillage with zero till not, not zero tillage with minimum tillage because we dig the hole where we plant the seed and uh, how this is improving over over the years our other research is uh, our other pillar is on networking and with networking here we work with other like-minded organizations in tanzania and beyond we are partners with echo we are uh, members of the tanzania organic agriculture movement which is the national umbrella organization for organic agriculture movement in, for organic agriculture initiatives in tanzania uh, also globally we are members of the international federation of organic agriculture movements and we're very happy to be part of this network to be able to share but also to learn on what other people other like-minded organizations are doing what are the best practices in the field but also get to share our experiences what we are experiencing with the work we are doing and the farmers we are working with so here is a small a summary of some of the activities that uh, we were able to do in the year 2020 11,086 farmers from 122 villages received training directly from such facilitators and uh, this is through our dissemination pillar and um, this is uh, these farmers in the villages were able to establish a farmer uh, farmer field schools or demonstration plots in which they received the trainings from and the trainings are both theoretical and practical the learnings from the trainings the farmers replicate in their individual farms and we have a very good approach of peer-to-peer uh, -peer monitoring and so farmers can really monitor each other and uh, see who is implementing who is experiencing a challenge in implementation and uh, be able to advise and support each other morally but also uh, technically with uh, with feedback and, and input and um, as i said with the farmer training center uh, last year 2020 we had 1339 people who attended 41 different courses at the center and uh, the courses range from issues to do with introduction to organic agriculture and uh, intermediate level organic agriculture advanced level organic agriculture sustainable waste management permaculture design course also we have courses to do with livestock keeping for and the courses on livestock keeping are divided on those that are for uh, keto like uh, keto and those that are for small ruminants like goats sheep and uh, also those that are for birds like ducks uh, poultry and uh, also some small animals like rabbits as well we have different animal production courses for the different uh, different livestock and on the picture this is a group of young women in kiroka in kiroka village uh, morogoro rural rural district they are preparing some uh, plots for planting crops so in 2020 with the Mkulima Mbunifu magazine that we co-publish we were able to reach over 10,000 uh, 100,000 readers and um, yes we managed and are still managing the 660 acre organic farm though on the farm we cultivate only about 70 acres so just about 10 percent of the area is what is under cultivation the rest is not yet fully under cultivation and the picture you see this is um, our agroforestry system so you see the gliricidia uh, the gliricidia trees on the side we always uh, prune them and um, so we, we always prune the leaves and uh, the st the young stems and use the material on the soil and yes uh, this is from the project we are doing with echo with the dairy goats and you, as you see this was the handing over event with the dairy goats so far this was uh, the by 
it was May this year and so far at least five new new baby goats were born and we are so proud and very happy that the project even though it's it is relatively new but we already see a big impact of this project and are very grateful for the collaboration we have with with echo and how this is going to impact the communities which have received these dairy goats Yes, and uh, out of our network of over 20,000 farmers, 857 got organic certified last year, and they cultivated 848 acres of land in total. This year we had external uh, inspection as well, and uh, the number has increased. We have over 1,300 farmers who are certified organic currently, and uh, we expect the number to continue rising. And this is in Morogoro. In Dodoma, we have about 160 farmers who are certified organic as well. Yeah. And uh, with marketing, so this uh, here is marketing of such as an organization, but also of uh, the SAT as, as an organization, it's not heavily talking on SAT, the social business. So it's SAT as an organization with our market linkages and how we ensure uh, how we ensure the farmers' products get to reach uh, to reach markets. So uh, the SAT Holistic Group Limited was established last year in September. So on 25th of September will be exactly one year old since we got registered. The company was inspired due to the good success we experienced with the organic shop that we've been running for almost 10 years. And with this company, whereby farmers are co-owners of the company, we aim to, to, to connect about 3,500 farmers uh, to markets, both local as well as international. And the international markets are especially for the spices, which are grown up in the Uluguru Mountains. The aim is that uh, we promote more sustainable farming practices, especially along the Uluguru Mountains. We have the vision of making the Uluguru Mountains 100% organic. And uh, so we believe with having reliable markets and having a good, in will provide a good incentive for more community members to engage in producing organic products due to the good market. And as a result, also reduce poverty uh, in the area and amongst the community members. And um, so we, 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 we will accomplish this by increasing the uptake of organic agriculture uh, by smallholder farmers. And as I said, the focus on do the domestic market, but as well, we will have uh, the, the international market, especially for, for, the, for the spices. And we see that in Tanzania, the demand for organic products is increasing drastically. And that has uh, the proof that our shop has existed for almost 10 years is a sign that really the demand has been increasing over the period. And this can be attributed to, to, to the increasing consciousness and awareness of consumers about the importance of their health but the importance of consuming healthy food that is not contaminated, but also the, um, the increase in awareness about uh, you know, fair, free, uh, clean food. And they know with organic, uh, with organic products, they're not, it's not just because they are chemical free, but it's because they're also uh, grown in environments that uh, have a strong social component, uh, environments that are fair. And when you buy or consume organic products, you're doing something good, not just for the farmer, but for the environment, but also for the social and welfare of people. Because you're you can be sure that the workers who work in the farm are treated fairly and have good welfare. You are assured that the environment is taken care of you are assured that uh, the farmer who produced the, the product gets a decent earning from the work or from, from, from the work they put up to produce the healthy food. And um, 
So with, uh, with the company as well, uh, we link our farming communities to premium markets for organic products and uh, also we empower our consumers to protect the environment and their health due to them consuming healthy, ethical and sustainably produced food. And as a result, they're also active agents of change. So when you're a consumer of products from Sat Holistic Group Limited, you can be proud that you're doing justice, you're doing something fair to this planet and contributing to the protection of the environment and also assuring that future generations uh, at least have a better, a better place on this planet. Also, we raise the demand for organic products in the country to a new level. And so uh, we support also new and upcoming businesses. We, we, at our processing unit for the company, we help to package and add value products for other small entrepreneurs who are embarking, for example, on the spice business. And also we use feedback loops to continuously improve uh, organic value chains. So this we do together with the uh, SAT Innovation Accelerator from the company. And this helps us to really uh, get feedback and continuously improve our processes and uh, quality of our products. And we enable farmers to go beyond produ producing because our farmers are involved in multiple steps of the value chains as producers, processors and also the shareholders of the company through their pharma cooperatives. And so it's beyond them being, uh, being producers on the ground. They're really involved uh, across multiple levels of the value chain and are even uh, owners of the company. We create a strong farming communities. Together we, uh, together we exploit, sorry, together, Okay, so yeah, so together we exploit the explore the opportunities and uh, work together to to further grow the organic sector. And uh, the Sat Organic Shop is now under the company, so I will not talk so much about the shop because currently it is embedded in the company and it is part of the company. And since we established a company, we have also opened new outlets for, um, for, for selling organic products. Currently, our products are available in all supermarkets in Morogoro and also some, at some supermarkets in Dar es Salaam, especially the spices. Since they are packaged, they stay a longer time and have a longer shelf life. Uh, for fresh produce, this is available at our shops in Morogoro along Kilakala Road, but also at the new Morogoro Central Market. And um, also we supply some outlets in Dar es Salaam at Oyster Bay and also at the uh, Coral coral Tree, uh, coral tree uh, at Coral Tree uh, through the I Am Organic, I Am Organic label. Yeah. So here are a few pictures from the SAT processing unit. We see how some of the processes are taking place. This is hibiscus from the farm and some from the certified organic farmers in Dodoma. It's being packaged and um, so it's being filled in in the bags and then uh, the, sealing is, the sealing of the bags is done and ready for the market. Also, at the farmer level, we have uh, these dryers which we have constructed and here, instead of having, uh, this is uh, turmeric. Normally you find turmeric put directly on the ground and it was heavily contaminated and not in good quality. But here you see that it's drying nicely on these nice stands and so the quality really improves. These are different uh, spice blends and we, we mix and package different blends for sale in the local market. We have very good masala products from SAT, all organic uh, by farmers in Morogoro. So here again, pictures of some of our products. Here is uh, cardamom, black pepper, uh, cinnamon, uh, that's uh, turmeric, 
hibiscus and ginger this is cassava flower we also mill and package cassava flower and we have lemongrass we have moringa and that is hibiscus again so we have really a very big category and with our very big category of diverse uh, organic products, we're really ready to enter the market and serve the market in Tanzania and beyond to ensure provision of healthy organic products. And as a result, really impacting the farming communities, impacting farmers and changing their livelihoods. Uh, on this picture, this is a farmer. She has, um, this is, um, uh, cardamom it's freshly harvested hence you see the green color on, on the product so this is uh, in the field on the farm and currently we are working on getting org uh, organic green cardamom and we work on our drying capacity so that we can get this high quality product asante nisana nashkuru thank you very much merci i wish you all the best in this symposium May God bless you all and let's stay in touch. Here are our contacts and have a great time. Thank you.